So welcome to this special edition of the Raising Our Vibration podcast, where today I'm going to be recording biodata with the flow time biosensing headband while doing different meditation techniques. So I have previously set up a session on flow time, and I have that live streaming now. So just sharing my screen, you can see the data flow there. There's a left brain frontal sensor, right brain frontal sensor here, red and blue. Then over here you see theta brain waves in green, yellow is alpha, the light blue is beta, underneath that delta dark blue and then gamma in the red. Underneath that you'll see there is a measure of active brain versus flow. This will turn into purple when there's more of a flow state. Right now I'm actively figuring out how to do all this. Uh, first time recording this, so we'll see how it goes. And then over on the other side, you can see my heart rate here. If I did slow, deep rhythmic breathing, this would show green as breath coherence. I'm not going to do that today, but um, because I'm going to focus on the brain waves. Um, down here, left bottom, you can see a measure of attention, which is a combination of beta and gamma. So when attention is very high and focused, as I'll do in the middle of this session, you'll have a high attention reading. And then to the right, a level of relaxation, which is a combination of alpha and theta brain waves. So as relaxation is deepened, then alpha theta goes up and you see the relaxation go up. And these are usually an inverse relationship between attention and relaxation. So let me go into a couple, um, three different um, sort of meditation techniques. First, um, uh, slow, deep, lower abdominal breathing, then a highly focused attention, focusing on breathing up through the central channel and the energy centers, and then resting down into simply being aware. All right, so I'm going to close my eyes so that I can get into this and also so that eye movements are not affecting the brain waves, but you'll be able to see. Uh, what happens on the screen with the brain waves? I'll be getting audio biofeedback um, when I am in a flow state, if that happens. All right, so first I'll just relax my feet on the ground, relax my hands cupped in my lap, sitting nicely upright with my chin tucked, jaw relaxed face and eyes relaxed. Focusing now down into slow, deep breathing. And I'm going to focus on breathing in the perineum to give myself a single point of focus for this first part. And we'll just see what happens. So here you can see that there's a combination of beta, alpha, theta on top, and gamma is riding low in this very relaxed, focused state. You can see the relaxation number is in the 70s, up into 80.
Now I'm breathing up through the central channel. Here you can see gamma starting to rise with this more highly focused, energized interstate. Breathing into the center of my brain. And gamma is filtered on flow time at 45 hertz, so it will only go so high, but that makes for a cleaner signal. Breathing down into my heart. Breathing out from my heart. Here again, you can see gamma really starting to rise, that red starting to rise. Up with beta. You can see attention 94, 95, 94. Now dropping down to simple awareness, simple presence, it's being aware. You can see the flow now gammas. Going really low. I'm hearing the biofeedback. You can see in the active versus flow, there's moments of flow coming into play there. You can see the flow now gamma is going really low. I'm hearing the biofeedback. Thank you. 
All right, so now let's see, heart rate's about 50. It was, I'm talking, it raises up a little bit. And let's see, it looks like now the brain waves are with this beta, alpha, theta on top, delta, gamma down below. It'll be interesting to for me to look back on the recording and see uh, what I can see, uh, what you all saw as I was going along. So hopefully you found that interesting. Um, using this bio data can be a real great um, tool for our meditation practice because um, especially as we hear the biofeedback, it helps us tune in to when we're reaching that specific state. And on flow time, now you can actually set whatever marker you want for the feedback. So you could set your heart rate or you could set a specific brain wave and get feedback on that. So it's a pretty pretty interesting tool. Hope you found this interesting. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for your participation with your practice and look forward to seeing you next time on the Raising Our Vibration podcast. If you'd like more information on meditation and awareness practices like this, you can visit raisingourvibration.net. And we'd love to hear from you there. Bye for now.